Now we will discuss regarding the biological source, chemical constituents and uses of some. So first we are going to take Chirata. Chirata, it's the synonyms for Chirata are Chiriata and East Indian Balmini. The biological source is Swarshia Chirata, which is the biological name of Chirata. <coughs> the entire herb of Swarshia Chirata is used to obtain the chemical constituents. So the entire herb is very important to indicate when you write the BS. BS is biological source and the family is gentian AC. Now A C E A E indicates that it is a family. Normally when you want to differentiate the you can just spot A C E A E and you know that it's a family. Now the chemical constituents are it is it contains better principles. Now how this video will be different from the other videos on the YouTube that I will give you a description about each and every words which you can see in this uh, presentation in this slide so it contains ophelic acid now ophelic acid is made up of tannin resin and ash now what is the function of tannin so tannin inhibits lipid peroxidation it decreases the blood urea nitrogen content and most importantly it is anti-carcinogenic now what is lipid peroxidation so lipid peroxidation is a process during which lipids which are present in our body are peroxidized so at during this uh, process free radicals are formed and as mostly all of us know that uh, uh, lip, uh, the free radicals are uh, mutagens they cause mutagens they cause mutations in dna and uh, they are uh, responsible for uh, the causes of cancer so that was the tannin part and now the resin resin are mostly used as varnishes they are used as adhesives they are used uh, now the gum resin is a type of a resin which are es which contains essential oils so they have therapeutic effects also and uh, the tannin and resin are further classified the tannin is classified into hydrolyzed and condensed and complex but this we are not going to take in this lecture now beta glycosides what are gly glycosides so the glycosides are compounds in which a sugar is bonded to a function group mainly there is a sugar and a polyphenolic compound which are bonded to each other so enzyme hydrolysis will act upon this glycoside and it will free free the sugar group so sugar is the sugar is used for so many processes like main, mainly it is food so that's one use of glycosides and under bitter glycosides the chirata contains amrogentin and chiratin now amrogentin is used in digestive disorders and chiratin is used to normalize the blood sugar level and it has positive impacts on the liver function and GIT. All of this is not included in the presentation because this is just an extra part to make you understand about uh, the chirata. So this I will mention in the description below all the functions or else you note down when I am saying. And now the glycosides were of two types, not two types, these are the uh, so examples of glycosides which are present in chirata. These are amrogentin and chiratin. Now alkaloids. What are alkaloids? They are compounds which contain nitrogen in their ring. They are a product of nitrogen metabolism. They were mainly considered as uh, a product of defense mechanism but they have various other uses also. Like the main is they... Uh, Wait, I just left out, left out a function of amrogentin, which is very important that it inhibits topoisomerase. Now, topoisomerase is an enzyme which causes changes in DNA and changes in DNA will further lead to mutations and the genetic uh, deformations. So, it will inhibit the topoisomerism. That was a function of amrogentin. I just missed it out. I am so sorry. Now, the alkaloids are of two types, gentianine and gentiocrucine. The functions of these are not uh, so well known. He discovered the uh, rest of the other uh, alkaloids, as I can give you an example, are like um, caffeine and morphine and etc. etc. These are all alkaloids. 
now we talk about the next thing is the uses it finds its use as a febrifuge now a febrifuge is a medicine which decreases fever I'm sorry for this banner and um, it is prescribed in dyspepsia dyspepsia is nothing but a term for indigestion which is caused due to GERD that is gastroesophageal reflux disease and it may be a minority symptom for ulcer and uh, occasionally cancer so that was about dyspepsia it is recommended it is prescribed in dyspepsia it is recommended as a diuretic now diuretic is a substance that promotes diuresis and diuresis is nothing but increase in production of urine and in epilepsy epilepsy is a neurological disorder i it is find uses in an bitter tonic in ayurved is anti helminthic anti helminthic is a group of anti parasitic drugs which acts upon drugs which are inside the humans they will kill the uh, parasites which are inside the humans and they doesn't cause any harm to the host like if they if an anti helminthic is, is given to us they will not cause to our human body but only to the parasite which is internally located and anti pyretic is yeah just like febrifuge it reduces fever um, it will act upon the prostaglandin and indirectly it will induce the temperature of a body and it is an ingredient of sudarshan powder it is a mild laxative it promotes the flow of bile in gastrointestinal disorders it is used as a digestive it is anti malarial that is against malaria and the substitutes of swarsia cerata are swarsia densifolia swarsia ciliate and swarsia paniculata so for this a uh, video we are just going to talk about one drug so that was cerata and the next we are going to discuss about various types of drugs like brahmi and shatavari and amla and neem tulsi gugul karela etc and etc tinospora So thanks for this thanks for watching this video